Gnosticism is a generic term used to describe several currents of thought that emerged in antiquity and which share the idea that knowledge, or gnosis, is the way to obtain salvation or spiritual enlightenment. These currents of thought are often characterized by a strong emphasis on secret or mysterious knowledge, which is passed on only to initiates. Gnosticism has had a complex history and has undergone many transformations over the centuries, but some of the key ideas that have been associated with Gnosticism include Dualism Many Gnostics argued that there was a radical separation between the material world and the spiritual world, and that these two worlds were governed by opposing principles. Some Gnostics viewed the material world as negative or evil, while the spiritual world was viewed as positive or good. Knowledge as a means to salvation Gnostics often argued that knowledge was the way to attain salvation or spiritual enlightenment. This knowledge could be obtained through spiritual experience, the teaching of a spiritual master, or access to secret or mysterious information. The creation of the world Some Gnostics argued that the material world was not created directly by God, but rather by a demiurge or other lower divine entities. According to this view, God was separate from the material world and was not responsible for the evil or pain that exists in the world. The Demiurge has been described slightly differently in different traditions, but in general he has been seen as a sort of divine craftsman who created the material world. The Demiurge was seen negatively because he was responsible for the evil or pain that exists in the world, since he had created an imperfect and suffering world. In addition to the Demiurge, some Gnostic traditions spoke of other divine entities who allegedly created the material world or played a role in its creation. These entities could include angels or lower spirits who were tasked with creating or governing the material world. Like the Demiurge, these entities were often viewed negatively in the Gnostic tradition. These entities are also known as Archons. In some Gnostic traditions, Archons were seen as evil or demonic spirits who had the power to deceive humans and lead them away from true self-knowledge and their spiritual nature. Religious Pluralism Many Gnostics argued that all religions contained elements of truth, and that no religion had a monopoly on absolute truth. In this sense, Gnosticism can be seen as a relatively tolerant movement towards other religions. Some of the common practices that have been associated with Gnosticism include Meditation Many Gnostics argued that meditation was a way to focus on oneself and to better understand one's spiritual nature. Meditation could take many forms, such as concentration on an object or word, or the practice of inner silence. Studying spiritual texts Gnostics have often suggested studying spiritual texts such as scriptures or the teachings of spiritual teachers, to better understand oneself and one's spiritual nature. Asking questions Many Gnostics have suggested asking questions about one's life and spiritual nature in order to better understand oneself and to find answers to one's existential questions. Listening to your intuition Gnostics often argued that your intuition was an important guide in finding self-knowledge in your spiritual nature, and they suggested paying attention to your feelings and impressions to better understand yourself. Have spiritual experiences Some Gnostics have suggested having spiritual experiences, such as inner journeying or mystical vision, to better understand themselves and their spiritual nature. These are just a few examples of the practices that the Gnostics have suggested to achieve self-knowledge in one's spiritual nature. If you are interested in Gnosticism, some of the older written sources dealing with Gnosticism include The Gospel of Thomas, this Gnostic Gospel, which contains sayings attributed to Jesus, was written in Greek and dates from the 2nd century AD. The Gospel of Thomas was found in 1945 during excavations in Egypt and contains many Gnostic teachings. The Gospel of Philip which dates back to the 3rd century AD. The Pleroma of Valentinus The Pleroma of Valentinus is a Gnostic text written in Greek in the 2nd century AD, which describes a series of divine emanations or divine figures that make up the Gnostic cosmos. This text was written by Valentinus, a Gnostic master of the 2nd century AD. The Pistis Sophia the Pista Sophia is a Gnostic text written in Coptic in the 3rd or 4th century AD. 
which describes the descent of Jesus into the underworld to free the souls of the ancient fathers. This text contains many Gnostic teachings and describes the nature of Gnostic reality. Thanks for watching.